2018 will be a breakthrough year for artificial intelligence. Through machine learning, computers are teaching themselves how to perform complex tasks. But what's driving this revolution? There is a combination of things that are coming together. A massive increase of compute powers, algorithms are getting better, and more importantly, there is this rise of big data. Companies that are not thinking about data are absolutely going to be left behind. In a year when artificial intelligence will transform industries across the world, are we going to see a gold rush for data? Our everyday lives are becoming increasingly digitized, producing more information than ever. 90% of digital data in the world today has been created in the past two years alone. If you think about walking around with your phone, your phone is generating a lot of data about you. Your thermometer now is a sensor, your light bulb is a sensor. All of those things are new source of data. Big data isn't just a product of more artificial intelligence. It's the driving force that allows machines to learn. In this lab in Zurich, doctors are feeding thousands of images of biopsies from their archive into a supercomputer. From these inputs, artificial intelligence can teach itself how to recognize patterns and identify tumors. The better quality data you have, the better the outcome is. So I think what we're seeing is um, actually organizations paying attention to how to think about their data strategy. What data do I have in-house? How do I store it? Which data set do I need to bring in? Because that data feeds into the algorithms. Data is now a strategic asset. It's something that's valuable. In the year ahead, artificial intelligence will harness data and transform industries from medicine to motoring. It will even help journalists weed out fake news. We've been able to develop a tool that uh, can detect breaking news in social media and more than that, can detect what's real or fake news. News is increasingly reported by individuals on social media before journalists can verify it. This cutting-edge tool is able to process millions of posts, identifying surges in activity and deciding if something is newsworthy. It's been proven to be faster than news agencies at reporting terror attacks. But it still needs journalists to make sense of its findings. You know, I don't think there is such a thing as you bring all the data in the world and you throw it at an algorithm and suddenly you come up with all the answers. You need the experts that know what to ask the machine and know what data is valuable. It's really about the combination of expertise, good quality data and algorithms. <laughs>